What's up guys, Learning with Rich here in this video. Let's add concrete beams to our building, to our model. Okay, so we are going to use the architectural drawing as a guide to automatically create our concrete beams to uh, level 2. So that will form the framework of our structure. Okay, so let's do this. So I'm going to open the 0 2 floor. Okay, and then after that, from the Structure tab, so we are going to select here our beam. So Structural Beam. So let's click that. And then from the Type Selector, so we will be using here 16 by 32 concrete rectangular beam. Okay, so let's select this one. And then... So we are going to place it on the level 2 floor. And then after that, we are going to use here again on grids. So we are going to use the architectural uh, drawing. So let's click this on grid lines. Let's click that. Okay, and by the way, I want you to notice this option here, the tag panel. So if you want to automatically place the tag on your element, Okay, so you can turn on tag on placement. So you can click that if you want. So as you can see, it's now enabled. So if you want your uh, concrete beams automatically tagged, so you just need to turn that on just like that. Okay, so after that, so we are going to select now our model like that. And there you go. So as you can see, there's now the preview of our uh, concrete beams. So all we have to do is to finish it because those are just preview. It's not yet created. So we need to select finish. And then after that, we are going to remove some of the concrete beams that was created, which we do not need. Just like, okay, let me terminate it first. Just like these beams here, we don't need this. So let's select that. And then you can press delete on your keyboard or you can also type DE or you can also select this icon here, this tool, delete. So we don't need that. We also don't need this. And then if you zoom, in to, uh, zoom into your stairway here, so we don't need this. Hold control, click this one. We don't need that. And then you you notice that there's the tag on your column, ah, uh, to your beam, right? So that's what I'm talking about. So automatically, it's now tagged. Okay, so we also need to remove this. We don't need this. Delete. And also this one, delete. Okay, so let's check that out in 3D view. There you go. Beautiful. Okay, now the next thing that we are going to do is I'm going to teach you how to create a new type of beam. So let's say, for example, we want to create another type of beam to provide additional strength for a main support beam that runs the length of the structure. So let's say uh, this line here, I want to upgrade this uh, beams here. So I want to upgrade. So what I'm going to do is, I can also do that in the 3D view, but I can do that also in the floor plan. So let me just go to the floor plan. And then after that, let's zoom in here. So I'm going to select this, click, and then after that, hold control, pan, hold control, pan, hold control, to add these beams to your selection. Pan. Okay, so we need this. Oops. Okay, so to remove an element from the selection, just hold the shift and then you click that one. Okay, and then hold control to add. So hold shift to remove from selection, hold control to add an element to the selection. And there you go. So after we have selected these uh, beams here, so I want to create a new type okay so to do that go to your type properties here so click edit type and then duplicate it so this is the process not only on your concrete beam but on duplicating any elements in revit so this is the standard way 
So you just uh, duplicate it. And then after that, you specify the name. So let's say, for example, I want uh, 24 by uh, 36. Okay. I'll just select here. Okay. And then after that, you need to specify the dimension. So let's say for the B, I want that to be 2 feet. And then for the H, I want that to be 3 feet. Okay. And then after that, just select OK. And then watch what will happen here on the upgraded beams. So OK. All right. There you go. So it's now updated. Okay. So automatically, your tag updated as well so if you check out your 3d view so this is now how it looks like see see this one here okay by the way to orbit your model just like what I'm doing right now like that to orbit so you select first the element wherein you want to concentrate your view just like that and then hold the shift on your keyboard and then hold the middle button of your mouse and then you can now move your mouse to orbit your model okay right so basically that's how you add your concrete beams so thank you for watching have a nice day